Hello, Kevin. Welcome to your dream. Tonight we're going to explore the solar system, take you to some of my favorite places that I like to go when I'm dreaming. Let's start by just looking out your window. See the beautiful full moon. We call it the moon, but it's actually one of over 200 moons in our solar system. Most of them orbit around Jupiter and Saturn. Let's go out there. First, we'll take a look at the biggest moon in our solar system, Titan, which orbits around the planet Saturn. Titan is even larger than the planet Mercury and far more spectacular. Mercury is just a big, boring, dry, hot rock. Titan is mysterious. At a glance, it just looks like a big fuzzy ball. You can't really make anything out. That's because Titan has an incredibly thick atmosphere, making it look hazy from outside. But scientists have found ways to see the surface, and what they see looks oddly familiar. Nowhere in our solar system do you see formations like these. On Earth, they are lakes, oceans, rivers, and seas of liquid water. But on Titan, 10 times further away from the sun than the Earth, where temperatures reach as low as minus 180 degrees Celsius, it's far too cold for liquid water. Out here, water takes the form of ice so cold that it's as hard as granite. What fills these lakes and seas and courses down the icy mountains and rivers is liquid ethane and methane, what we call natural gases on Earth. Out here, they're cold enough to take their liquid form. They rain from clouds in the sky evaporate on hot days. It's a bizarro version of what we see in the water cycle here on Earth. If this feels too cold for you, let's go somewhere a bit hotter. Welcome to the surface of the sun. Here, temperatures reach 5,000 degrees Celsius. What you're seeing is plasma, another state of matter beyond liquid, solid, or gas. This boiling plasma is what gives you heat on a hot summer day, what makes life on Earth possible. Backing up from the sun, we're still confronted with its power. These solar flares are plasma extending out up to 400,000 kilometers from the surface of the sun. They would engulf the Earth in a second if we were that close to our mother star. But let's not dwell here. Jupiter has always been one of my favorite places to come and relax, staring at the marbled clouds on its surface, inspired by the beauty of the colors and the shapes and the patterns below. This beauty again comes from a rather inhospitable environment. The swirls that you see on Jupiter are actually enormous storms and currents of wind blowing at up to 100 meters per second. This isn't a place you'd want to stay for long. It's much better out here to look down on it and marvel at the apparent tranquility of such a turbulent place. Much of space beyond Earth is scary like this, although beautiful. Right next door to Jupiter in orbit around it, is the moon Io, another world 
characterized by turmoil. About the size of Earth's moon, Io looks about as alien as a moon could. Its surface is yellow, covered in sulfur, and it's pockmarked by volcanoes. There are over 200 active volcanoes on the surface of Io, with eruptions taking place every few seconds. Some of these eruptions shoot material hundreds of kilometers into the air, reaching right out into space. We'll visit one more world before we part ways tonight. Our own home, planet Earth. It's easy to forget that we live on a planet all its own. Another world orbiting the same sun, the same star formed from the same process that brought us Jupiter's swirling winds. But it seems we are the lucky ones. Our planet is serene compared to those that surround it. Not too hot, not too cold. Just perfect for us, for all the things that we need to do, all the things that we enjoy. I hope you bear this in mind as you go about your day tomorrow on your perfect planet. Good night, Kevin. I love you. Eternal family.